My name is Andrea Heepner, and I'm a pediatric neuropsychologist at the Mayo Clinic Children's Center. Parents will often ask what they should do if they're concerned that their child might have a learning disability. The first thing that I would suggest is to talk with your child's teachers. So whether that be your child's early intervention providers, preschool teachers, or elementary school teachers. Teachers are a wealth of information about your child's development, and potentially they have seen hundreds of other children come through their classroom and will be in a really good position to give you an opinion about whether or not concern is warranted and if an evaluation might be necessary. The laws vary in different states, but in most states, if a parent requests that a school consider their child for a learning disability, there has to be some kind of response within about 30 to 60 days. Sometimes um, that process will involve the school completing a full evaluation of your child's abilities in order to determine if services are needed. At that point, if your school team decides that services would be helpful for your child, you'll have the opportunity to sit down with those educators and determine how your child's needs might be best met. If you are still concerned about your child's learning after going through this process with the school district, you can always seek an outside evaluation. One idea might be to talk with your child's pediatrician or family practitioner to get a referral to a psychologist or a neuropsychologist um, who are the professionals who typically are assessing children for these kinds of concerns. So once the evaluation has been completed, you should have a good roadmap for treatment. And one really positive development is that we have many good treatments for children with learning struggles. There are lots of empirically supported programs, which means that they have been vetted through good scientific principles, and they have been shown to be effective with children with all different kinds of learning issues. One thing that we should avoid is just using the same kinds of programs and techniques with children who have learning disabilities that we do with other children. Sometimes parents or educators will think that if we just do more and if we just have greater exposure to the material that children will be able to learn. And in many cases this isn't exactly true because children with learning disabilities process information in different ways and therefore information needs to be presented them different, to them differently in a way that will make sense to their brains. Parents will also ask me, aside from what school is doing to help my child, what can I be doing? This is a great question because in order to optimize these children's functioning, we really need to have multiple individuals invested in helping this child to succeed. Fortunately, it's not too difficult to create a home environment that will be conducive to your child's learning. And this doesn't mean that we're drilling with flashcards around the clock and that we're buying workbooks and staying up late at night to complete them, but it really just means providing an environment that encourages learning and education. So for young children, this includes things like lots of books and puzzles and educational games, um, lots of craft materials and markers and crayons and things that your children can get into um, to develop some of their skills. Reading on a daily basis happens to be one of the most important things that we can do to help all children, but especially children with learning disabilities. From the time that children are infants, so you know, three to six to eight months of age, they should be sitting on your lap, looking at books and pictures, using pointing gestures, and naming vocabulary. As children um, mature, this can advance to things like actually reading the words and having back and forth conversations about what's seen. Um, this is a really nice way to introduce your child to learning, but also to instill the idea that books and learning are important and that they can be a really enjoyable activity for your child. It's normal to be concerned about a child who receives a diagnosis of a learning disability. It does mean that your child probably will have to work a little bit harder in school and that you as their parent will probably have to have more nights at the kitchen table helping with homework or being more of an advocate for your child with their schooling than you may have anticipated. But it certainly does not have to change your child's path or their future. There are many examples in history of very famous people with learning disabilities who have been able to be extremely successful in their lives. 
And in fact, when these individuals are interviewed, many of them will say that it was because of their learning disabilities that they developed other skills or developed the resilience or the tenacity that they needed to succeed through difficult life circumstances. I believe that all of us have different challenges and things that we need to work on. So I see a learning disability as just one of the things or one of the challenges that you and your child might have together. Fortunately, there can still be a really good outcome and with your support, your child can still optimize their functioning and meet their full potential.